Name and age. And don't put Ames. 21 years of age. Okay, um, so what are your feelings towards global warming? When I think about it, it makes me upset and just really angry about the kind of world we live in. People don't really care about what's going on with the planet. And it's around you every single day. All these like tornadoes and the twisters that be going on from in Virginia and they happened in Alabama. That kind of stuff doesn't really happen. The magnitude of which is happening. They get tor tornadoes, but not like six point on the Richter scale. And the hurricane or the, the, was the earthquake in Japan. So you think about it on a daily basis? Yeah, I do. Um, I recycle and, and living in D.C. it makes you more aware of what's actually going on or what's not going on. And it just makes you kind of, you know, sad. They have like a tax on, on plastic bags. So if you get one, then you have to pay five cents extra. But I really don't think that's doing anything. If five cents is nothing. If they make it like a dollar, yeah. the people won't really want to buy plastic bags anymore. And that will help eliminate that problem. Did you learn about global warming in school? Yeah, somewhat. I think they need to delve deeper into what you can do as a student while you're still in school. Like they make it seem like you have to change the world or be a superhero just to do something or make some kind of impact. I think they need to tell kids that what you can do is recycle. You can talk to your local like garbage place and ask them like what can and cannot go in the, in the bins you put out. So, you can make it more accessible. Trindy Ames, and I'm 11. Or what does global warming mean to you? Like when it's getting hotter, it's melting. Antarctica and stuff. Polar ice caps. Polar ice caps. Um, yeah. And so, are you learning about global warming in school? Not really. Hi, Limbs. What do you? feel about global warming. Do you know what global warming is? Well, global warming. <laughs> what did you learn? Uh, the types of fossil fuels that can cause global warming and how global warming actually happens and what can help global warming, I suppose. And what do you think can help global warming? Well, maybe if humans just you know, started using their brains and basically, you know, tried to help out by using less fossil fuels, of course. Uh -huh. No oh. carpooling. Well, you can state your name and your age. My name is Stefan McNeil. I'm 19 years old. And what are your thoughts on global warming? I don't know too much. I know that the winters are getting warmer and the summers are getting hotter. I just know that it's a big deal in politics. I know that apparently if we don't do something about it, we're going to kill the earth. What are your thoughts on global warming? Do I believe it exists? Yes. Do you? Yes. Done. <coughs> do you think it's a huge issue? I mean, not for my generation. I'll be dead. But by the time she's old enough, yeah, it's a problem. Uh-huh. Yeah. What? Jacqueline E. Ames, 47 years of age. Hey, so what do you know about global warming? I know that global warming is the thinning of the ozone layer. <laughs> and what are your feelings towards global warming? My feelings towards global warming are that it changes the weather forever. Things are disappearing, more water is covering the earth, because they have no place to eat, read. Hmm. Do you think about it on a daily basis? I do, because I like to recycle and because I drive professionally. Public transportation. And every day I drive natural gas buses. And instead of people driving their cars to work and back home again, I take people to and from where they have to go, which takes less cars takes more cars off the street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, and as far as um, 
politics and the government go and global warming, like the money that they spend on it and, well, the lack thereof, the money that they spend on it. What do you feel about that? Like, There's not enough, concern? not enough being done. Yeah. There could be more money towards saving the earth and making consumers recycle and, and do their part to, to save the earth. They could do it. When you were growing up, was global warming a big issue? Like, did you guys learn about it in school ever? Or? No. No, not at all? No. Okay. Anything else you want to say on the subject? I hope that this makes a difference in the world of you college students. Because you are the generation of the future. And it's up to you to make policy changes and tell the government to do what they need to do. So the earth can be around for your children and your children's children.